crowdfunding websites like GoFundMe or Kickstarter let people fundraise for everything from medical bills to buying potato salad. Really, yes, there was one for buying potato salad. Please, please give. I need potato salad, but I'm just, I digress. But there's even a website now that lets you crowdfund for breast augmentation surgery. It's called MyFreeImplants.com. <laughs> Joining us now via Skype from Arizona is Holly, who used this website to fund her own plastic surgery last year. Now, Holly, first and foremost, before we get into the nitty gritty, how did you even hear about this? Well, I was online and I decided to look up breast augmentation discounts and MyFreeImplants.com was the very first one on the list. So I decided to sign up and try it out. So what did you have to do? Did you have to submit pictures and speak to people? Or, I mean, how, how does it work? It's very simple. Anyone can set up a free profile on there and add some photos up on there and a basic bio. And all you do is you start sending messages to other members on there and you can comment on their photos or comment on their blogs. And it's a great way to meet people online and make new friends. Now, Holly, I was looking at the site and looking at some women who were posting some pretty, let's call it, uh, sexy <laughs> photographs and even videos. Did you have to post anything that you weren't comfortable with, maybe showing some uh, private parts? <laughs> Every lady is different and everyone has various comfort levels. So there's a little bit of something for everyone on the website. Um, I just talked about my life and my job and I really, you know, like I said, it's different for everyone on there. Do the men that donate expect anything in return? Everybody knows on the site that they are helping someone out. It's just like if you were donating to your friend on a fundraising marathon. It's just to help someone feel better about themselves. I'm surprised because apparently your husband was okay with this. Oh, yes. Um, after having a daughter, um, we, you know, he had always wanted to pay for a breast augmentation for me, but we ended up spoiling our child and paying bills, so we, we never did that and when I found the site he, he felt bad at first because that's what he wanted to do but he was very excited that I was able to have this opportunity. And so these people that you spoke to on the website did they know you were married and you had a child? Do they know that about you? And You know there are female donors on the site so it's not all men um, and there are couples. Uh, husbands will get on the site to donate to their, their wives or boyfriends, girlfriends. You know, it, there, it's wow. for everyone. So something doesn't compute for me. I'm no. the mother of two teenage girls, and, and Holly's married, and she looks like this really smart woman that knows what she wants. But, Dr. Travis, I have to tell you, I'm concerned about my teenage daughters or other teenage women that may go onto a site like this and feel like they have to send a naked picture or they have to go beyond what they're comfortable with just to get money for breast surgery. So I worry and about... My daughters and other young girls out there. And, and for me, you know, I like the GoFundMe for stories for people who are really struggling. And I don't know if this is the best charitable donation online. Yeah. And, and any free plastic surgery. I mean, we know in the general population about 2% have body dysmorphic disorder. But in people who are seeking plastic surgery, that's closer to up to 15%. You know, so if, if there's free plastic surgery out there available, is this, is this the sign of something more serious going on? Well, Holly, we, we thank you yeah. for joining us. We really do appreciate you sharing your experience. You have to worry about judgment decisions on a website like this. And I, for me, it just keeps, I can't get it out of the back of my head that the guys that are donating are creepy. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it was, you know, before I met her, or we spoke to her, I really had a different impression of who I was going to speak to. I mean, she was, she was educated. She Absolutely. was articulate. She seemed like she, she has a good head on her shoulders, but I think that there's a lot of other people there who are not that way. And men out there, if you have an extra $1,000 or $5,000, donate it to breast cancer research. Get your tax deduction. Do something meaningful with it.